So today we find ourselves on the north coast of Donegal, uh, Malin Head to be precise. The weather's good, the light's good, the waves are good, but I am so not happy. Hi guys, I've uh, I've just bought a new tripod. I when I woke up this morning and seen that there was no light, it was grey, it was overcast, and uh, I thought to myself that this would be an ideal opportunity to test out the new tripod and try and do a couple of really extreme long exposures, test the sturdiness of it. So I came to Donegal, a very windy place, with the idea of, with the lack of light, I would be able to get a 10-stop filter on and uh, get long exposures, something over a minute, two minutes, possibly even three minutes long. It's taken about an hour and a half to get here, and in that, the weather has transitioned from what I was hoping for, which was zero weather, to quite a nice lovely day for North Donegal and it's somewhat it has somewhat scuppered my plans but as always we take the hand that we're dealt and we get on with it so I might still do some long exposures not the length of exposures that I wanted to do I've seen a couple of places already I've just scouted around before I started the vlog the waves are excellent tides on its way in I've got an idea for a photograph that I want to try here. That's going to depend on how quickly the tide comes in at the minute. It's too far out. But we'll wait on that. We have a few other photographs that I've seen here that I'm interested in taking. Maybe not long exposures. And, uh, and maybe not, as I, as I set out to do this morning, black and white, minimalist, long exposures. So, we will see how it goes. I'm going to get set up here. Try and get a few of these waves see what we can get. There's a nice interesting rock out there. So I've had a good scout around and I found a composition here that, uh, that I quite like. We've got these, it's almost like they're blue, the rocks are blue, they're like a grey blue and uh, I, do like, I do like the look of them at the minute. I'm only still taking a few test shots here because the light's not great. We've got a large rock formation behind us that is uh, blocking out the sunlight. And I'm just hoping in the next 15 to 20 minutes or so, it's just gonna come around and just side light these rocks. So that's why I haven't actually taken anything in earnest yet so far. Just, uh, just wanna get a few here because I like the sky at the back and Sky's nice at the minute, and if I get the side light right from here, and this doesn't change too much, I'll be happy. But I'll keep the settings where they are for the next 20 minutes, and the light comes around and side lights this. And if I need to, I can always blend that sky into what's going to be the new foreground. But the rocks are fantastic. It's a fantastic colour. I've got an idea in my head here for a long exposure I, and by that stage I hope to have the 10 stop filter on and I really want to get as long exposure as I possibly can because I want to take all of the energy out of this. I want to turn it to marshmallow. 
got this idea of, of an image that's almost an, a, another world, an alien world. We've had to retreat just a little bit. Um, I had a ring dialed in, I've got the polarizer on, got the 10 stop filter on, and it's working out at about a minute and a half. A uh, minute and a half of the exposure. And then it started to rain. And <laughs> the rain's not giving me a minute and a half of, of uh, peace uh, to get that long exposure done. So I'm just waiting for it to pass now. And it's funny because I've just come back from that composition just to stand back while the rain stops. And it is good just sometimes to take a, take a, a step back from what you're trying to photograph and take them just a little bit more. And I think that by just taking a few steps back, I think I've found a better composition. There's a cliff on the right hand side that I don't want in it. I think it detracts from the image, so it's going to be tight trying to get that done. Another quick tip for you guys, if you do bring your tripod to the ocean like this, always remember that when you get it home, wash it out. Get all the salt water out of it, extend it, open it, flush it out with, uh, with, clean, with clean water. If you let that stuff dry, it, you're only going to do damage the, uh, to the... Uh, the lifespan of your, of your tripod, that salt water gets in, starts eating away at the metal, starts eating away at, uh, at, at the grips and everything else. So always wash out your tripod as soon as you get it home. Let's try again. Mm -hmm.